Some U.S. scientists believe they have found a way that might make soft-shell crabs available year-round. A research team at the University of Alabama at Birmingham may be on the way to finding a method to induce molting, which leaves the blue crab with a soft shell. Molting in the spring and early summer allows the crab to grow, and before its new exoskeleton has a chance to harden, the crab is more pliable for just a period of hours. And it's in that short window of time when the soft-shelled crab, the newly molted crab, is considered to be a, a delicacy by uh, lovers of seafood. Due to habitat loss and pollution, wild populations of blue crabs have plummeted over the last decade, spelling disaster for the crabs and those who rely on crabbing for a living. Watson's theory is that crabs pulled from the wild population could be induced to molt year-round. He says his team has isolated the hormone receptor that inhibits molting and will soon test compounds designed to block the receptor and induce molting. In vitro, in the petri dish, the uh, receptor blocker blocks the effect of molt inhibiting hormone. So what we want to do now is test it in crabs and see if it will induce molting in crabs. According to Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch, a sustainable farming program would need to follow, among other things, strict guidelines surrounding the impact on the wild population.